What's going on YouTube? It's CJ at Team Plays for Days. I know a few of you were asking about our the Purgatory Nice list that I was using in one of our uh, match videos. And I just thought I might go ahead and give that to y'all. So with the new updates, I think Purgatory Nights has gotten pretty powerful. And actually, it's more a little bit more consistent as well as able to get some more plays off as well that um, are way more effective during the game. So, of course, you know, the buddy's going to be Demios. Got the buddy rare. And yes, I got the entire set buddied out. But let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. We'll start off with the size zeros. I'm just playing two copies of Knuckle Duster um, just for the extra damage output. It doesn't do much besides that, besides um, a target, so you can sacrifice for the Demios effects and your other size two monsters. As far as size one, I'm playing two copies of Anger Hand Dragon. Um, he's going to be your item breaker when he's. Uh, destroyed by one of your monster effects, you can pay a gauge and destroy an item on the field. Pretty much every deck in the game right now is playing items, so we definitely got to get rid of that. Three copies of Evil Grab, uh, the draw power of the deck. Uh, when you tribute him as for sacrifice, you can draw a card. And then one of the newest additions to the Purgatory Knights with the new set um, is the Purgatory Knights Venom Spike Dragon. He is really good. I love this card. Uh, he's a 5-1-1, uh, and when he sacrificed, uh, you get to pay a gauge and destroy a monster on the field. So you don't even have to really swing at your opponent's monsters anymore. You can just swing face, uh, sack him, pay a gauge, pop, in, I mean, pop a monster on the field. I think this just allows for really good control um, as far as being able to do different things with the Purgatory Knights. For my size 2 lineup, right now I'm playing 3 copies of uh, Demio Sword Inferno. Uh, you can call him on top of any of your size 2 or greater Purgatory Knights, which is really good. Um, and then his counter skill, he has the exact same effect as Demio's. Um, the only difference is when he stands, uh, you can destroy a size 2 or less monster on the field. Which again, is just really good for the control. Uh, I like the aggression that you can get out of him. And then right now, just playing them at three, I mean, I at least see them. I'm thinking about bumping them down to two, but as of right now, three's not bad. You do have a lot of targets that you can choose to evolve them into. So, and you definitely, um, with some of the cards that I'm using in the deck now, you definitely have the gauge in order to keep calling him. Four copies of Garam Lance Dragon. Uh... Garam Lance is another size 2, but he becomes a size 1 if your buddy is a, is a Purgatory Knight, which of course Demios is a Purgatory Knight. Uh, so he allows you just to make some really powerful plays. He's a 6-2-2, two, two, so he can swing over really big numbers, and when you sacrifice another monster on the field, he gets an extra crit. So uh, he, can, he can become a 6-3-2, which is not bad at all. It's extra damage output. Put a board of 3 of these guys on the field, you can have 2 of them swing for 3, which isn't bad at all. And then, of course, playing four copies, <laughs> that buddy rare though, four copies of Demios. Um, we already know what he does, sacrifice a monster, stand him. Uh, just the main beatdown of the deck. He's a 6-2-3, swinging over anything um, that he needs to hit. All right, now as far as size threes, we, of course, do have two copies of the new Purgatory Knights. He's finally in Darkness Dragon World, folks. Uh, Death Sickle Calvary, and he's here to save the day. He's a size three. If you have a Purgatory Knights on the field that's size two or greater, or I'm sorry, just a uh, size two, then he becomes a uh, size one. He has double attack, and uh, when he leaves the field, you can search your drop zone for a Purgatory Knight and add it to your hand um, if it's size two or less. So yeah, he's really good. And in 9 2 4, he's hitting any and everything that your opponent can dish out. I really like this card in the deck. I wouldn't want to play it in more than two, honestly. I mean, three might be a thing, but with two of, it's too good. You at least see it, and you'd be able to do, I mean, make, you know, some pretty powerful plays with it. And then just attack option. Right now, I'm playing one inverse Osmodi. Uh, I love this guy. Uh, of course, your opponent has to fight over 10k. You can kind of mess with them every now and then. Death grip one of their monsters so their attack doesn't work. Um, they just have to basically fight a wall for a little bit, which is fun. 
Um, another thing that you can do when he's destroyed on your opponent's turn, you can set up your board with Purgatory Knights, and then if they can't kill off all the knights that you have left, then on your turn you can go ahead and just explode and just win. Of course, if your board's set up. Um, as far as the Impact Monster, I'm playing two Demios Chaos Execution. Uh, I really don't think it's much of a main board card. I mean, I like to use it every now and then, just in case I don't finish my opponent, just go into him for a final attack. Um, of course, he's useful in the uh, Ancient World matchup, but I, you can. there's outs. There's other outs that you can use. You don't have to make this guy in order to win. Um it's just another it's just another Demios with higher stats. Other than that, I mean it's a decent card. Um, item wise, I'm playing three copies of Bloody Fate. This card allows draw power. Um, it's a four one with Shadow Dive. Uh, I really like this card. Um, most of the time, since it only has one crit, your opponent's gonna take that hit, and you get to draw a card. I mean, what's better than plussing off of one crit and you get to draw? I like it a lot. Uh, you know, like I said, most of the time my opponents are just kind of taking that hit and letting me draw, which is just hurting them in the end because that allows me to just keep drawing into either defensive cards to protect my knights or just drawing into more knights. And since I am sacrificing them, I can just draw into another party guitar knights forever. This is just really good. All right, and then as far as the spell lineup, two copies of Abyss Symphony. Uh, you know, pay a gauge if your life is a six or less, draw two cards. You know, just to increase your hand size. I'm playing two copies of Death Grip. Um, they're still size three deck walking around. It you can use you can sideboard the other two, which is of course something I'm doing. Uh, but this just allows you to destroy monsters during your opponent's turn when um, you can't do anything with Venom Spike. Uh, Venom Spike destroys on your turn, which helps, and then this allows you to destroy on your opponent's turn. Three copies of Midnight Shadow with the Tsuku art. Um, nullify an attack if it's not a link attack. Pretty simple. Um, another one of the newest additions. We are immortal. I'm playing three copies of it. I love this card. It's really, 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 really good. Uh, you can choose a knight on your field. It's basically almost like a Dragobond. Choose a knight on your field. Next time it would be destroyed, it, you actually get to gauge one, and that monster goes back to your hand. So you can save your Demios, you can save any of your monsters that you don't want destroyed, or better yet, you can actually, during your turn, target one of your monsters with this card, sacrifice it with your Demios effect, and then you get to gauge and add that card to your hand, and it's still considered destroyed, so your effect for your Demios still goes off. When they made this card, Bushy Road, I love you for this. This is amazing. Next, for my Gage to Cell, I'm playing three copies of Crush That Body to Sustain Mine. Uh, this card is very good when it comes to the Gage. I'm actually using this over the new monster that came out for the Purgatory Knights that when it's sacrificed, you Gage. This is just a little bit better. It allows the flow to increase. Um, you constantly get Gage with this card, and it's not just like a once-per-turn thing, so you can keep using it. Um, um, then with the how the chain works, you can sacrifice your monster, get the gauge, and then pay it for like your angry hands or your venom spike. That way you can use their effects um, on your opponent's turn as well. Or, I mean, on your turn as well. Just a really good card. And then, of course, if your life hits zero, you reveal your top card. If it's a spell card, then your life becomes two again, which this helps too if your opponent basically finished you off and they can't finish you later. <laughs> use this card. Most likely it's a spell because most of the deck is spells. And then you can just use that to put your life back at two. And if you can make your board again and just explode and win, do it. And then a staple, four copies of Purgatory Knights Forever. Uh, pay a gauge and take a damage. Uh, search your drop zone for two Purgatory Knights. Add them to your hand. Just allows you to recycle all of your monsters that you've done sacrificed or have lost during the game. And then last, four copies of Black Dragon Shield. Um, you know, just the standard null for uh, Darkness Dragon World. If you were to take damage, prevent it, and you gain a life. Really good. But, that is the deck profile on my Purgatory Knights deck. Um, yes, I should have a Tsuku flag, but they don't have Tsuku in, I mean, in Secret Rare, so why not Gaido? Anyways, 
that's the deck profile, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we, of course, we got more videos coming. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, this is CJ of Team Plays for Days. We'll holla.